uh, we don't give the assurance. Just we we do one call with Antonio in the in the summer, and it was not the right time. So now is more uh, is less involved. As you know, when you finish one season, two season, hard season, uh, maybe you are not ready for to take another opportunity uh, or you know another experience. So was not ready. Just this was well, not uh, right time. Not not ready, but not right time. And do you feel like you almost guarantee success by appointing somebody like Antonio if you're able to offer them, him the support he needs? I think this club supports everybody. You see, we are here for to support everybody of us, not just the coach, also the coach of the youth team. Just we have to work, to be focused, to be committed, to be involved in this project 100% every day and the this is what we we can we can do and we have to do and but not uh, in assurance not assurance for to win something or whatever so nobody can 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 give you this kind of insurance so i think we can do the best we have to do the best thanks james uh, simon stone please Hi, uh, Fabio. Can you just, you came into the club in the summer. It seemed a little bit chaotic in terms of trying to get the manager before you ended up with Nuno. How did that work from your perspective? And do you think now, after all this time, you've got the right man? Yeah. You know, when you appoint somebody, every time you, you think that you appoint the best and you, for in, the, in that time. So you have to think that when you take a decision, you have to understand and uh, that moment, this is the moment when you have to decide it. So uh, in that moment, you think that is the best and uh, maybe you don't have other chance. Maybe you, the, 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 the time is right for this person and sometime is, is, uh, is this, is like this. So now we think we have to, to, to bring a good decision for the club and uh, we follow, we move forward. You've just brought in a manager who won a league title last year and has won titles before. Where do you think this football club should be? What is the end game for this, this period for this club? Not that. I think also when we, st we, we, we started in Juve, we we don't win for a long time so we don't think about uh, we have to win this or this or this but we have to do the best for to arrive to compete for win this is the most important thing then when we are in that level so we want to improve again and and arrive to win trophies but i think it's day by day that you build something not uh, just because you think or you 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 speak about this but you have to act and work hard and uh, stay focused and nothing else thanks simon uh, rob guest please hi fabio uh, you've worked hi. with antonio before partnership works and how you expect it now to work at tottenham so uh, yeah, I worked with Antonio before, but was different uh, club. Uh, my expectation is uh, nothing. I know him very well, uh, so is is a lot of is a hard worker, a lot of passions, uh, a lot of knowledge, because he's one of the best coach in the best coaches in the world. So. The track record spoke it himself. So I think uh, it's not my expectation. It's just we have to be like we are, work harder and uh, be committed. Have you spoken to Antonio about transfers and is the intention to bring players in in January? Not at all. Not at all. Because we trust in our, in our players. We trust a lot. 
So we are focused to be to be better, to be better like uh, like a club and like a team. Thanks. Thanks, Rob. Uh, Sam Dean, please. Hi, Fabio. Just following on from that, do, do you think this current squad, as it is right now, is capable of challenging to win big trophies? Yeah, but uh, I think yes. We are here for to to do our best for win trophy. Big or small, I don't know. I don't know the. I don't know the this uh, word. Big trophy or small trophy or trophy, trophies. So we serve to win every game. We serve to do the best every game, and uh, to build the best in, in this season and in the next seasons. Because sometimes you have to be patient for to achieve results. You have to be ready to, so to suffer, to sacrifice yourself for the for uh, for the group. This is our mentality, and we have to improve in this in this uh, in this way. And, and do you feel that Tottenham are at the start of a of a new cycle, and that the fans need to show patience, even with someone like Antonio in the dugout? Yeah, but so when I when I spoke about patience, is for to improve need uh, need time need job in every hour work so for to achieve something i repeat we need we we need uh, day by day work hard and uh, what what we can we can we can do is this but for sure we believe for sure we believe that we can achieve our target otherwise we are not here so we have to believe that we can achieve our target. We have everything for to achieve. We have big infrastructure, big club. So players, so history, we have everything for to for to achieve big fans. So we are here for to, I repeat, improve ourselves every day. And if we improve ourselves, we improve also the club. This is. Thanks, Sam. And time for one more, and that will be Jonathan Veal, please. Uh, hi, Fabio. If if Antonio decides that he does want new players, is there a budget available in January to bring players in if, if Antonio wants that? Yeah, but, but I repeat, we don't spoke about players until now. So we have to be focused in our team. And then we will see, but uh, I think the, the team is competitive. We have a, we are, we trust in the, in the, in the players. We, we, we have very good players. So we don't speak about players now. It's not the right time. It's not the right time. Okay. And can I just ask about your relationship with Daniel Levy? You've obviously been working with him for, for a few months now. How is that dynamic? Um, then you know, is he is he committed to helping this club get back to to where it was a few years ago? So I think is a very is a big president, is a big person, is the first fans of Tottenham. He work hard. <laughs> I think he think twenty four hour Tottenham. So my relation is uh, very good. I'm so happy to be here. I'm so happy to have this kind of relation with with him and with everybody in this in this club. Uh, I have to thankful a lot everybody because they they helped me a lot in this uh, four months. I this was a big change for me, big challenge. Uh, but I'm really happy to be Premier League to to be in England. I'm so excited to follow to fight and uh, to start to to build really something important for this club that it deserve deserve really deserve this thanks jonathan and we'll leave it there thank you very much everybody thank you thank you